Good day everyone and welcome again to my YouTube channel. So we are going to be looking at more examples in orthographic projection. So this is example number one. We're going to be looking at this. This is example number two. Uh, sorry, this is example number two. We're going to be looking at this. And this is example number three. We're going to be, we're going to be looking at this as well. All right, let's start with the first one. All right, so this is the first example. This is a 3D object. Um, you have your X, your arrow here. All right. So this is your standing position. This is your front elevation. This is the end elevation. Go back. And this is your plan. All right, so I have uh, the model of that same question here. All right. Okay. So we're going to be drawing the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. Meanwhile, you can just open up to page 61 of your Jane Green for the first example, page uh, 164 for the second example, and the third one um, I will show you from my laptop. All right. All right, now, so quickly, take a look at this. All right. This is what you have here. So this is your standing position. All right, so you view, you draw the front elevation, the end elevation, go back here, move to the top, and you draw the plan. So let us start. Now, looking at this object closely, all right, this is the front elevation. So um, the question is, what do you see? All right, so obviously, remember this is the object, and this is your standing position, and you're viewing from this, what, from this point, all right, so this is what you'll be seeing. All right, so for the front elevation, now we are drawing in first angle. So you will see this base. You'll be seeing this base, this rectangle here. All right. You'll be seeing this um, trapezium, so to speak, here. Can you see that? On top of the rectangle. So something like this. And there is a continuity here. All right. So this line comes up. This comes this way. This comes this way. All right. So you will discover that there is another word. Can you see this part? This triangle here. All right. It uh, it's making the whole of this look like a rectangle actually. Or is it a square now? All right. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So we have this. Okay. We have that. Now there is another triangle at the top here. All right. And it goes this way from the beginning, from this very point here, down to the top. All right. So we have that. So this is the what front uh, elevation. Now let's move out to the plan. Or should we start with, okay, let's move out to the end elevation. So this is front elevation. You move down this way, end elevation. So let's see what we've got here. All right, so this is the end elevation. So you've seen this rectangle here. Okay. And like I told you, they will match. So this part will match with this part. Okay. Then uh, you can see this, what's it called? A rectangle also. It's like a rectangle that is divided. You get it now? So this is what we have here. All right, that's what you have. Then there is another um, rectangle on the top. All right, you see that, okay? And it will match. So we have this. Okay, so this is the front elevation and elevation. Remember, we are drawing in first angle projection. So let's draw the plan. Okay. So you move down here. This is your front elevation, end elevation. So you move back to your position and move up. Okay. So, oh, sorry. This is your plan. Remember, this is your front elevation. This is plan. So what do you see? Now, we have a rectangle or a, or a square now. Looking like a square or rectangle. All right. Like this. that first okay 
Now there is a rectangle here. All right, kind of rectangle, right? Okay. Now there is an L shape here. An L shape, okay? Now um there is a rectangle or square, so to speak, here. Okay? So that's it. All right? So that's your plan. Now there are no hidden details here. Viewing from the front, there are no hidden details behind. From this side, no hidden details here. Okay? All right. And from the plan, there are no hidden details at the bottom. So that is the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. So here you have it in first angle projection. So you have your front elevation here. You can see. All right? See? This is the end elevation. And this is the plan. This is why it is always very, very good for you to do a rough sketch of your work before uh, transferring. All right, now, like I told you the other time, you discover that this part they are matching. Okay, they are matching. All right, this part here will match with this one because this part here, this trapezium here, okay, will match with what this part of the plan. So this part of the plan here. We match with this trapezium, all right? So you use lines to connect. You use line, this part here, from here to here, all right? On the elevation, will match with what? This part, so you see. So going to the, uh, let's go over, let's move over to the end elevation now. So you see this part on the top here, okay? From the end elevation, this is it here. Can you see it? So you have to connect this, this one, all right? You have to match it with this one from the what end elevation so it goes like this to the top that's it there all right then uh, this l shape here you can see this line this line here and this line one two three okay all right they will correspond with what this part this part and this part so here it is all right and so on example number two all right, so this is example number two. Now, this is a case where you have to draw the right end elevation and the left end elevation, okay? So, uh, a quick one here. Now, this is the solution, all right? So, I'm just going to explain. There's no need uh, drawing the sketch uh, since you already know what to do, okay? So, I'll just go straight to the point. All right, now, when you view this object, now, this is a case whereby uh, where the object has hidden details, okay? Now, I will show you how to draw hidden details and how to figure them out. Okay, now taking a very close look at this object here, like this, this is the front elevation. You can see this shape here, which is what? This shape. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is this dotted line doing here? Now, dotted lines or uh, dashed lines are actually hidden details, meaning path that you can't see. Now, if you look at this object from the plan, okay, you discover there is a path here, okay, here. You can see a path here, right? Now, from the front elevation, you can't see it, but you know it is there somewhere here right so because you can't see it you have to represent it with what hidden details okay so that's for that now let's move on to the plan i believe we are okay with this front elevation now okay now let's move on to the plan so this is the plan all right so here so you can see a rectangle here okay which is this what rectangle like i told you they will match this is a rectangle all right from the elevation it's up uh looking like just a straight line but from the plan from the elevation, a straight line from the plan, a rectangle, okay? So it will match, you can see thin lines, okay, it will match. So this part here is actually what you're seeing here, okay? Now you see this part on the top here, all right? This, that looks like a, a singlet, <laughs> all right. Now, here we have it, all right? So now, if you take a look at this, all right? There is a hidden detail here. There's an obstruction here, kind of, all right? Now, from the plan, you can't see it, but you know it's there. Can you see that? Okay, so when you trace somewhere here, it's here, but it's hidden. Look at it. All right, this part is hidden. So you now represent it with what? Hidden details, broken line. I want to believe that is clear. Now, like I told you, you will have to draw the what? The right end elevation and the left end elevation. Now, this is your front elevation. This is your end elevation. Remember, if you're standing here, all right, this is your what left end elevation. I told you your left end elevation, you draw it on the right side for first angle. 
while if you move over to this side your right end elevation you draw it on the left hand side so let's check this out now let's start with the word end we've drawn the elevation we've drawn the plan let's start with what the end elevation so we move over to this side all right so what do you see all right so you see two rectangles on top of uh each other here so this is it here for the one on top okay so this is the what this is the left end elevation now so let's start with the left end elevation so you see this rectangle on top here this one is represented by this part of the drawing okay and this other one at the bottom is represented by this one here okay so now let's look out for hidden details now let's start with this one okay now this is what you're seeing but actually there is something here can you see that a hidden detail at the back all right so it is somewhere here all right so you move to the front so there is a line here at the back so dotted line so represented by what this dotted line you can see it can what it, uh, sorry it is corresponding with this part all right which is the hidden details this part all right so they are connected with thin lines now the next one is what we have settled this uh, rectangle and this right we've settled this hidden detail. now if you look at the object from behind all right you can see this part here okay now moving to the front you know it is somewhere here all right so if you are viewing like this there is what a line at the back that you can see from the top to somewhere here that is here now okay all right this point here all right dropping to this point up to this point so there is a line dropping down there and there's another one, an opening, as you can see. An opening, but you can't see it. But you know it's there, so you have to represent it with what? Hidden detail. So that is why we have this here, hidden detail. All right? I hope that's clear. Now, that is what left end elevation. Now, let's move on to right. Now, this is your standing point. Right end elevation, this part now. Can you see that? Now, what can you see? You will see three rectangles. One, two, three. Which is what you're seeing here one two three okay now there is another rectangle at the bottom here all right this one which is this one here okay now from the front you can see that there is an what there's an obstruction here okay but you can't see it from the back but it's somewhere here okay so when you trace the line somewhere here hidden details okay so that's it here hidden details all right so front elevation plan uh left end elevation right end elevation and please do not forget to dimension your work very important now lastly so lastly we are going to be looking at this example here so here you have the the model okay uh, yeah okay so let's move on so here we are drawing third angle projection so front elevation remember the plan will be on the top will be at the top here the the front elevation will be at the bottom and end elevation will be here okay so this has a whole lot of hidden details so please be very very careful while drawing all right so now this is the front elevation you see this part a rectangle and there's another rectangle inside represented by this okay all right now there's this part here okay which you can see hope you can see that then there is what a depression here look at it okay so from somewhere here up to this point, okay, the dimensions are there. So at this very point here, you can see there is something there, but you can't see it. So you represent it with what? Um, hidden details. Now there is kind of a gully at this point, okay? Hidden details, which is why you're seeing these hidden details here. All right, that is settled. Now let's move on to the plan. So this is the plan. You can see this rectangle here which is this one you can see this rectangle here which is this one all right now you can see this part here which is this part okay and you can see this rectangle rectangle and rectangle which is this rectangle here those openings all right okay now is there any hidden detail you ask yourself yes because there is what an opening here all right so from the top this is where the opening is on the inside so I remember it is coming out from the other side. You can see my hand, right? So that means from this point here, there will be hidden details because there is what? An opening inside, but you can't see it from the plan, which is the reason why we have this and we have this. 
Now moving on, moving over to the end elevation now, you see this L shape. I'm trying to keep this video very, very short. Okay, this L shape here, all right? Here we have it, okay? Now, um, you can see this from the back, okay? So at this point here, there should be a hidden detail here, right? Which is what you have here, okay? Now also from the back, you can see this. Look at this very well, okay? There is kind of a U shape, okay, here. But you can't see it from the front, which is what you're seeing here, hidden. All the dimensions are there, okay? Then finally, from here, you can see there is an opening, okay? There's an opening here, here, on the inside, hidden details. You can't see them, which is the reason why you have this and you have this. Then finally, from the back, you can see there's an obstruction here. But you can't see it from the front, somewhere here. So it's at the back. So you represent it with what hidden details. All right, have a nice day, guys.